M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we purchased this hotspot from DV Mega. I'm sure everyone's heard of DV Mega. They've been around many years making all kinds of different hotspots. So this one is called the Genesis. It looks very nice. Now the features that are talked about are Nextian 2.8 inch screen, node feature, fully stand alone using a Pi 3B supports for DMR, D-Star, ETC, Brandmeister reflectors, web interface for configuration, which is PyStar, um, firmware 1.5.2, pre-installed Wi-Fi wi and LAN connection, built-in SD card 32 GB, um, class 10, and let's have a look, USB power cable, um, and the photo is not very good, we'll take a better one when I get more time. So, there you go, it's all on here. Um, battery fit USB cut. Right, okay, so there's the there's the actual screen, as you can see. Now, it's not a great picture, so here is the real thing, and it looks very nice. And you, as you look in there, you can see the Pi 3B board, the, the MMDVM board that is used is in there. So the 2.8 next gen screen, all properly uh, bolted in. You can see that the Plenty of USB connectors, the Ethernet connector, which is what I'll use to set it up. Nice little uh, 70 centimeter antenna. So they poked it through the, the side there. It looks a very neat job. So the next part will be to configure this. And um, let's have a look at, this has the new design screen. Now I don't know if it's on here. It's not this screen. If we go further back, it's this, pretty sure it's this screen here, which is the one um, that we're hoping for. So there you go. So uh, let's get the thing, let's fire it up, get it, what do I plug it into the internet? Oh, there's even a HDMI out, out, HDMI out there, and an audio connector and a micro USB here. Let's plug it in, get it online, find the IP. What we'll do, we'll plug it into the internet, then we'll find the IP address using any IP scanner, and then we'll be able to enable the the wireless part and look there's the SD card there it's all pre-configured it's literally plug and go put in your password of your router at home so have a good look so next stage let's get it configured okay here we are so we're just about to power it up we've got the Ethernet cable in there so all we're going to do is put this in here power cable it's 5 volts and then we'll watch it boot up we can get a bit higher so we can see what's going on. Give that a minute. They're quite fast Raspberry Pi 3Bs. So for M0FXB version, does it say 1.0? DV Mega. Now there is a Facebook page if you're interested in purchasing one of these. They're £130 plus postage. It will pause it while it does that. Okay, so it's now saying check your internet connection, check the Nexian connection. So we just double check that. Okay, that was my fault for not plugging in the yellow lead correctly. Okay, that's all fired up. Station MM3 TWA is there. Now I haven't checked to see what this is configured for at the moment to see if it's DMR, D-Star or Fusion. I'll just check that out and then I will grab the appropriate radio. It does say at YSF link. Receive 434.51.2. Status receive. So it says at the top C4FM. DV Mega. So let's... Uh, Let's have a look. Let's dig out my C4 FM radio. Okay, we searched my network and we have found. We're doing this all with my phone at the moment. EV Mega 192.168.0.100. So we'll now put that into Google. 
and uh, talk to the Mega and see what it's set up at. Okay, we're on the Pi Star, and it's, you can see some TX Air. We're on 434-512-500. Okay, we're on. You can hear there's someone TX in there, MM3TWA. We'll try and give them a call. We're on the FT5. All you've got to set up is a simplex frequency and put it into DN mode and make sure that your core sign is in the actual radio. And if we look at the actual hotspot, you can see there, there's a TX status there, MM3TWA. And then when it de-keys, um, we will see now to do, to set this up wireless. Now, I'm sorry about the glare from my phone. All you do is go into configuration. So I'll try and do this here, configuration. Uh, we're going to need username and pi password of PiStar which is pi dash oops s t a r and r a s p b e r r y sign in that's your pi star you get to the config page right so at the moment it, all modes have been turned on so, which you can do, uh, that's why we're getting TX here, but the thing is that, that if you turn them all on, it will queue. So in my opinion, it's better just to choose one for now. So I'll just choose, turn off D-Star and DMR for now. Uh, everything else looks fine. The hat's been selected there, look. As you can see, MM, DVM, HS, DB9, MAT and DF2. ET for GPO and it's on free DMR which someone's I think accidentally keyed so all we want to do is add a wireless confection <laughs> connection so just go configure Wi-Fi like so scan there's a little scan button there we can select that now oh, my fingers need to be bigger it does take yeah a few seconds for the scan to come through and it's found the one I use, so we just go select, and we put in my password here. Um, I just pause it while I do that. Once your password's in, click save and connect. There you go, and that will save. You might have to reboot. Now the thing is, don't either use one or the other. Don't use both. Either use Wi-Fi, or um, or your wired connection. One or the other. So that's it, it's all going well, and um, there's some history that's coming in. So I'm going to apply those changes and come back. There you are, just applying the changes, and just um, go back to the dashboard. So you've got a dashboard on Pi-Star, again looking at it via my phone or any PC. We just had someone call through there. M0FXP returning for a contact. M0FXP for an audio check. M0FXP. This is the old 6 mda Can you hear me? DL6, DL6LDA. Yeah, receiving you loud and clear from M0FXP Southwest UK. Name Andreas. Uh, Roger, thank you very much. I just installed an hotspot. I'm not sure if it is working, but it seems to work. Uh, please, your name again. Yeah, good to meet you. My name's Andreas, and uh, also setting up a hotspot, Pi 3B, made by DV Mega, and um, on the C4FM system. My name is Andreas. Andreas, back to you, and your call sign is coming up on my hotspot. Back to you, and I'm using a Yesu FT5. So there you are, it's working great. I'm going to just... Uh, Yesu FT5, yeah. 
Yeah, this is the latest version. Very nice, Rick. Yeah, I am using FTM seventy two fifty, a mobile transceiver. Um, uh, my name Werner Werner Andreas uh, in Munich. Uh, city is uh, Munich, and uh, I have an Keystar uh, hotspot installed in moment. Also, your call sign is displayed. Very fine. It works smoothly. Very good modulation, Andreas. Back to you. Over. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for the, the good report. Yeah, I'm just setting this up now and I'm glad it's working. Yours is sounding good. Now, what is the radio you're using? Back to you. I think you said something about D Star. What is the radio? And I think we're on Freestar. Is that correct? Back to you. Okay, so we'll just come back to show you that the Wi Fi is working and then we'll end the video. Yes, radio. I reduce power to the lowest power. And my hotspot is in my living room there, it's only so 10 meters in other room. It's very well, very smoothly, very nice. Now also your hotspot solution on FT5. FT5. A vessel report here is overcast and temps about plus 2 degrees. Okay, so it's all wireless now, no cable. Cable's been disconnected. Let's see if we can get a quick contact. And you can see there, there's all that's contacts that are coming in on that screen. So here's a wireless contact here. <laughs> F3UZM0FXP. Okay, well that's great. Well, thanks very much uh, to DV Mega and Carl at DV Mega. It's a lovely, uh, a lovely hotspot. I think these are going to be very popular and uh, just enhance the hobby. You get very, the, the visual um, feedback that you get from the device is just excellent. So I'll leave a um, last few seconds on the on the business card and seven three. All the best. And here goes that that really nice looking display seven three.